Hey guys, okay, so in this lesson, I'm gonna teach you such a cool trick for adding in transition chords. And this will allow you to get kind of a more like gospel or R&B sound in your playing. And it's so simple and it makes such an impact. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna be using the dominant seventh chord, a bunch of them, um, as our transition chord. So before we get started, you need to know what a dominant seventh chord is. If I were to build a C chord and make it a dominant seven, I would find the seventh note of that C major scale, and then you lower it by a half step. So that's how it sounds. Same thing for G, here's a G chord, here's the seventh note of the major scale, and then you lower it to half step. So you get that dominant seven. And if you see this on a chord chart, it'll just be the chord name and a seven. So that's the first little thing you need to know. So how does this help us to transition between our chords? This is how. Okay, so say we're playing C to A minor. It sounds pretty, right? But I wanna make it sound gospel or cool. So I'm gonna do this. What? How did I know to do that? I'm gonna tell you. Anytime you wanna use this little trick, you think about the chord that you're going to be traveling to. So I'm gonna be traveling to A minor, and then you find the fifth above that A minor that you'll be traveling to, which is E, and you use that note to build a dominant seventh on. So I'm going from C, I'm gonna remember that I'm traveling to A, find that fifth and build a dominant seventh, which sounds like this, and then I can go to the chord I was headed to. So that's, that's it, that's literally the trick. Um, if I use the inversion, it'll sound like this. Which immediately makes me think of Sam Smith, right? You say I'm crazy, right? It happens all the time in pop, R&B, and gospel music. I personally like how this sounds best when I'm moving from a minor to a major or a major to a minor, but you can practice throwing this in anywhere and just get a feel for what you like the sound of. So if I'm gonna go from C to A minor, I'll use my little fancy transition. Then I'm gonna go from F to G, and I wanna throw in a transition in that space between F and G. I'm gonna go, okay, well, I'm on F, I'm traveling to G, find the fifth above G, which is D, one, two, three, four, five, build my dominant seventh there. So that's those notes. There's a couple inversions I could use. So it'll sound like this. C, here's my little dominant seventh, pass to A minor, F. And remember, I'm gonna use that D7 travel me on over to G. So this trick is a lot of fun to play around with. It's gonna help you to really get to know your dominant seventh chords. Um, it feels a little bit like a brain puzzle because you have to think a few steps ahead, but just remember, you're gonna think about the chord you're traveling to, find the fifth above the chord that you're traveling to and build a dominant seventh there, and that will be your transition chord. So have tons of fun with this and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.